Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to ICBM. So this is a game uh, that's being released by Slytherin, who, you know, I quite like covering a lot of their stuff. For those not aware, they really, they sort of straddle the line between sort of niche but mainstream strategy releases and really hardcore, as in they sell on a different, like the Matrix Games website, like super simulation war game stuff. Uh, granted, I don't really go over that side of the fence so much. I do like their more sort of, um, you know, aimed at square head meat sacks like me games, things like Gladius, for example. Big fan. So I've covered quite a few of their games. ICBM probably sits right in the middle. Um, so... I've had a, a little bit of a play with this, a bit of the tutorials. It seems like a game that's got a lot of depth. There's a lot there, so I'm going to do my best to show it off and at least get across to you what this game is. But if you're coming here for fucking esports top tier bloody play, you're not. You're going to be disappointed because that's not me. All right, there's a bumbling idiot sitting in the on the red button. That's me. All right, so um. There is also, it's probably worth mentioning, I remember a game, because I'm old, from like 10, 15 years ago that was a lot like this. This game, essentially, you control a country, all the other players or AI do as well, and you're trying to just constantly scale up your nuclear def deterrence, defenses, fleets, first strike capability, and it's one of those things that once someone pulls the trigger, the other bloke's going to retaliate in kind, like, and it just escalates incredibly. I can't for the... Maybe the game was called DEFCON or something like that. Um, but I could I could swear that this sort of game has existed before in a different iteration. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I wasn't that into it enough to really remember. Anyway, so we're going to give it a bloody go and we're going to see what comes of it all. So this is like, ultimately, you can see how to rate him on the screen. It's, it is a multiplayer PvP based game at all times. Even in the single player, it is just against bots. Um, uh, which is all good and well. Oh, okay, we got difficulty. Let's maybe put it on normal. Normal means the AI gets less production. Hard just means... Well, why is that normal then? I don't know. Let's just go normal. Um, we could go Pacific. Oh, yeah, my people. Let's do that. And South South Australia over here. Very cool. And this is sort of what you start with. Distribute. Oh, okay, I can change this out. Right! Okay, so we start with a couple of nuclear bombs. How how fitting. Uh, default scoring, I suppose. Uh, configure. There you go, so you can do all sorts of crazy shit with the settings. Um, I guess we're just going to start. Uh, it's got an interesting sort of real-time pause management in uh, multiplayer. I think you've got like a... It's almost like a space crew. How you have a, an exhaustible pause thing that recharges. So you can pause to slow down the pace, but you're limited to how much you can sort of abuse that system. All right. Um, yeah, that was in the multiplayer because I had a bit of a look at that. But if you have a look here, I can freely pause as much as I want. Diplomacy. Okay, so we could join like a sort of confederation sort of thing. Uh, and this is this is us down here. All the way up to Bangkok. Very good. So we start with a couple of a couple of things. And one of the one of the big deals is this radar radar sort of awareness. Yeah, the ability to see shit before uh, when it's coming in before it's too late. So I think there's probably let's say there's some there's something to be said about going right up against there. All right, let's build a radar there. Let's maybe build a radar here. I haven't played as as Oceana before, so I mean, I guess they could nuke us from over there. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I didn't look after our east coast. So let's do that. God, even Adelaide, even Adelaide can have a little bit of coverage. Um, cool. <laughs> Australia with a carrier. Now that's some. That's a bit of a joke. Um. The airbase has huge range. Look at that. That's crazy. So maybe we put that like so, so it can sort of... We use it defensively. And I think that's a minimum range. I think that means it can't respond within that range. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to park this fleet right... At, I mean, we might put the bloody aircraft carrier there. We'll plonk the sub and we'll put these destroyers in too. I think if I hold shift, I can multiple... Like that, very good. And um, 
And then you've got essentially a research and production chain. So we'll go to production and I'm going to put those radar sights in. So you build one every minute. I guess you can change your balance, right? Um, and then also science. Look at all this. We've got so much shit that we can do. So we can create these, these you know, vehicles for launching upright rockets. We, we can develop our cruise missile capability and warheads and oh my goodness, and aircraft and SAM sites. Increased speeds of uh, of strike aircraft and incredible expansion of the use of the air power made clear to all after World War II that the need for monumental rebuilding of anti-air defenses at all levels. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about that. Give us a bit more defense. Oh, look, actually, here we go. More radar. Space radar. Improved SW radar. Silent engines. Early warning system. See, these things seems that seems sensible to me. Let's get that in the oven. Go on. Now, what's this? Globe view. Uh, construction science espionage. I don't seem to have espionage. Oh, here we go down here. No data on technologies. So can I not spying on this faction? Oh no, we're gonna bloody spy. Okay, I guess by default we're just spying on everyone, perhaps? That sounds good to me. Alright, let's go. Alright, now what happened there in East Asia? Something got detected. Oh, there we go. Radar sights. Enemy destroyer. See? Oh, straight into it. Yeah, boys, let them have it. Got to protect our interests, you know? Enemy fighter west of Asia detected. Uh-oh. Oh, that... This aircraft carrier's made a fucking doozy. Now, I think he might be able to... There you go, look at this. Enemy attack bomber. Uh-oh. Oh, Shoot him down, boys. We're discovering a lot of... Oh, look, it's a bit of a three-way. Don't you bloody attack my destroyer. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Very good. All right, can I... No, no, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Can I select you all somehow? No, I can't. Um, replenish aircraft. That sounds pretty good. In storage bombs. Oh my goodness. New strike plan. Allow overkill. Oh my goodness. This is all a bit extreme. Attackers. Targets. Can I just go all my ships? Just like that sort of thing? Execute plan alpha. Let's go. Attack. Uh, enemy carrier. Alright, so this is all going fairly well, I suppose. Oh, we've nearly built a new radar. And look, see, now you've got to build the bombers to resupply my, my efforts. So, I might pause that. Um, build a new radar. I might put a radar there since it's spicy. And, um... I might even just go, like, bloody hard in the construction. Yeah, put our, put our bloody research on pause until I've got a bit more of a foothold here. Now you can speed it up as well down here. Can I just press two and three? I can. Look at that. 
Enemy aircraft carrier destroyer. Destroy. Oh, destroy action complete awaiting new orders. Can I just go execute plan alpha? Does that give them orders? All right, I don't know how I don't know how these strike plans work then, right? Cruiser attackers. Max range. What if we do this? Okay. Production complete. Oh really? Okay, so my ships and all that, everything's no replenish aircraft. Alright. Cancel attack. Execute plan alpha. Production complete. Alright. I want more uh Let's, uh, you know what? We've got, we've probably got a good, good enough radar, you know, so let's go hard in science. Did I not, did I not queue that up properly? There we go. Sorry, I must have pressed the wrong button there. All right. We've decided we don't understand how strike plans work or grouping stuff up. That's okay. That's all right. There's like 10 tutorials. I got through some of them. You know, I'm a busy boy though. Um, I think you get the gist of it. Let's still send them in. Let's go. Let them bloody have it, boys. We own this sea space. Submarine destroyed! No good! I should have taken out the destroyer first. Hang on. No production. Let's fix that. Let's, um... Oh, look at this. We can make some bombs. Um... Let's make two submarines. And we'll put, we'll put this back in the middle. Enemy carrier destroyed. Yes, very good. Action complete. Awaiting new orders. Well, the others figured it out on their own. Okay, they figured that out on their own. That's good. For the most part, that's, that's good. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Very good team. All right, well, there we go. We've, we've cleared out our bloody shoreline a little bit there. Um, we're, we're refurbing the bloody submarine situation and shoring it up. Okay, very good. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's do that sort of split. Try and get the, uh, the science up a bit more. Research complete. All right, space radar. What is, uh, what is this over the horizon radar? Let's queue that up. Um, oh, do I have to actually build my space radar? That's, well, that makes sense, I suppose. Um, there it is there. Look at that. Detects, tracks, and catalogs and identifies artificial objects orbiting Earth. It is essential component of the anti-satellite weapon system. Okay. Well, let's put that in the bloody queue. Um, and I think we'll move back to the sort of 75-25 split just because the tech, the tech is helpful, but new submarine ready to be deployed. Very good. What's going on with this fighter thing? What, how do I have a spare fighter? That I don't understand. Whatever. I'll keep it. What's going on here? You guys are all good. You're all refurbed. Put a new submarine up there. Very good. Wait for our new radar. Production complete. All right. So this is my satellite radar. We'll put it somewhere sensible, like in Alice Springs. Nah. Maybe we will put it out in the desert or something. Yeah. Let's do that. Bang. Um. All right. I want that research. Let's build some more of these radars. Radar is a texture system. Radio uh, used to detect aircraft. Yeah, 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 good. We should... Let's just queue a couple of them up for giggles for the time being. Oh, we should probably protect bloody New Zealand. Fuck, if we have to. Enemy destroyer detected. Oh, boys. Boys, you know what to do. Yeah.
New radar site ready to be deployed. Yeah, we'll give bloody Auckland a, a radar. Very good, good work team. Oh, look at that. Are you guys attacking him or what? We can't have this. This is our foothold. We will bully him. New radar site to be deployed. I wish I had like a radar overlay button. I don't seem to have that. Let's maybe plop this one here. Try and get a bit of coverage, you know? Um, you know, I'm going to send one of these submarines up around this way. We'll try and dominate some more, some more space. We've got this area locked out. We own that. Enemy submarine of Russia detected. Oh, 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 send in a destroyer, boys. Research complete. Research over the horizon radar complete. Okay. Okay. Let's cancel these. We've got one more to go. Give me this. Now, tell me more. Over the horizon radar, or OTH. Type of radar system with the ability to detect targets at very long ranges beyond the radar horizon, which is the distance limited limit for ordinary radar. Primary role is to detect the incoming enemy missiles long before they reach your territory, so your missile defense has time to intercept them. Extremely long missile detection range precisely calculates the launch source, only detects ballistic missiles. That sounds pretty bloody reasonable. Let's get one of them going. All right. Now, I, wanna, I want uh, SAM sites, I think. Yeah. That said, I really want to turn out that radar ASAP. What's going on with this bloody Russian submarine? New radar site ready to be deployed. Very good. Let's pop one down here. Cover up old Jakarta. Oh, they got double the submarines. Run away. Run away, little carrier. Enemy submarine destroyed. Very good. Enemy submarine. Oh, you absolute chump. Annihilated. Very good. Oh, you just stay close to him. All right. Unit reached its destination. Okay, that's good. Production complete. All right. Exciting. Over the horizon radar. Let's get some of that in Australia. Oh, wow. Okay. So what sort of range is that? That's still pretty good. All right. Let's get one set up here on the East Coast. I think we're going to get another one. Probably makes sense. However, until we research SAM sites, it's not going to be much use because I don't really have anti-missile capability, I don't think. All right. Very good. Phase two of this. Go park a destroyer right there. Bit of battleship diplomacy. Enemy destroyer detected of East Asia. Where? Show me. Oh shit! Destroyer destroyed. The irony. I hope you're involved. Oh, you need to refurb your planes as well. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Destroyer destroyed. Oh, dude, they're coming in force. This is not good at all. Um, we're out of aircraft. Sunk. <gasps> Carrier sunk. Oh, no, we are no longer the mightiest. Oh, no. Retreat. All right, we need to fix this. Oh, shit. Look at all these spare airplanes. They're not going to do me any good. Jeez, can I just delete them all? How many fucking airplanes did I need? My bad. All right. We're going to need... Great fire... I'm curious how this works in the game. Anti-air defense. Yeah, so the destroyer. Anti-air, any missile. Cheap to build. Lots of them. 
vulnerable to submarines is the cruiser. Right, okay. Can sneak past enemy defenses. Vulnerable to submarines, right? Let's get a bloody destroyer fleet going. We'll get five destroyers, and we'll get one of the others as well. And uh, yeah, we need to redirect our funding accordingly. Yeah, yeah, as expected. You know what? Actually, we'll keep we'll keep the submarine presence up there, and we'll we will build another submarine as well. All right, hang on. Pause. Enemy destroyer of Russia. Oh Jesus! What are you doing, Danny? Your asshole. Over the horizon radar. Look, we're gonna plump, plump him right there. We're gonna see all sorts of cool things. Oh, it's missiles, basically. Um, yeah, and we've got to stand this fleet up ASAP. Structure destroyed. Oh, you bastard. He shot up me bloody thing. New destroyer ready to be deployed. Submarine sunk. Oh, you bastard. Got my submarine. I should have probably seen that coming. Um, I'll take one more submarine and one more destroyer, please, sir. And while I'm at it, I will also build a new radar site. And you know what? We'll get an airbase going as well to sort of protect this. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Yeah, good. New destroyer ready to be deployed. Yeah, we're gonna stage the We're gonna stage the fleet out here. We're gonna build the fleet before we send it in to get its head kicked in. What is this nuclear war mode? Let's not press that. We mean East Asia destroyer. Oh, okay, I see what's going on there. New destroyer ready to be deployed. I think we're gonna need some backup there, so we'll plonk that to shore up that fleet and I'll get another destroyer in the bloody in the production line I just got to remember what all this shit's for oh here we go what is this enemy radar site unaccept research complete oh you love to hear about it all right we're gonna the same site up and running right now what else do we want Advanced aircraft, thermonuclear bomb. I mean, I'm all for escalation. Let's get cruise missiles in, involved. Let's get cruise missiles going. But um, maybe the SAM sites here. Okay. Any aircraft weapon system, associated sensor systems, and command and control arrangements to protect your homeland can be extended to the missile defense to perform the task of intercepting any pro projectile in flight. Okay, very good. Intercepts aircraft, intercepts missiles with a new technology, cheap to build. Okay. Well, we'll get one going, but uh, that's not necessarily the right tech for me. Enemy radar site destroyed, uh, rightly so. Um, how's our balance? Yeah, construction for sure. Construction heavy. Destroyer done, waiting new orders, that's fine. Wait, did we destroy that destroyer? No. Unbelievable. Come on, boys. Hunt it. Ah, oh, there you go. Not found at last known position. You're not going to go look? New destroyer is ready to be deployed. Oh, lads. How did we lose it? Unit reached its destination. All right, look, I'm going to put you back there. And you can just sort of sit there as well. Gee, it's got a lot to think about. And you've got all different kind of missiles and torpedoes and shit that you can give them. New crews are ready to be deployed. Yep, absolutely. Get in with the fleet. Where are you going? Told you to go there. Enemy destroyer. There he is. Look at that. 
All right, you're on dispatch. Oh, have I like tethered you to him somehow? Is that what's going on? Can I do that with other ones? Follow. So if I tell you to attack... Hold Alt. Oi, how good is that? All right, we're gonna make a fleet out of this. Enemy Russian destroyer detected. Oh, no good. Hang on. Structure destroyed. Where? Oh, down here? Oh, he got that. Mm, you bastard. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Cruise missile. All right, what can you tell me about all down here? I mean, maybe advanced aircraft. I'm not at this point. I'm just jamming stuff in. All right. Tell me about what did I just research? Missiles. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. So, what I'll do, and I'm uh, I'm potentially going to brick my game here. Let's see if I can just save it. New save. We'll call it that, because that's it, my save discipline. What we'll do is... Um, who's got nuclear launch capacity? My cruiser does, right? That's interesting. My um, my airplanes definitely do, right? I know this from when I played it. So that's a bomber. There you go, and you click on his ammo, you can change it. I'm curious, can I do that with the cruiser, for example? Weapon range drawing on and off. Okay, that's cool. You can see all the different ranges and that. But that doesn't have nuclear capacity. Uh, yet, but I definitely have nuclear capacity here. So we're gonna go and have, we don't have megaton bombs, but we definitely have nuclear bombs in stock, right? And then the range on this thing is pretty significant. So, say we wanted to blow up Da Nang, right? Well, I mean, left click, sorry. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this just to show it off, basically. Um... That should work, right? Allow air patrol, auto engage. Attack. Current orders, attack Da Nang. There we go. Action complete. So this is probably going to be unpleasant for them. Oops. So now we're scoring some points from Nuke and Da Nang. Oh, there goes a big chunk of their population. Now the thing is, what I'm sort of trying to show you is... Uh, enemy bomber detected. You do this, the computer gets upset. Um, where is it? There it is there, right? So what we're going to do is allow air patrol. I don't know. Build a load of warheads. Oh, that might be excessive. Cruiser. Let's see if we can intercept this thing. They're coming to bomb Ho Chi Minh. And I don't have any, like, SAM sites good to go or anything like that, you know? New carrier ready to be deployed. Oh, yeah. Scramble. Oh! 
<laughs> and you can see I've lost my lead because they bombed a much bigger city and killed much more people. And look, they're sending bombers to Bangkok and everything. So, like, the point is... There you go, they bomb Manila, which I can't see because I don't have radar. So I'm getting thumped. So I think the, the point of uh, showing that is just how messy it can get. Now, <laughs> when I was testing it out, I sent a bloody missile to Moscow from... Uh, from bloody, I don't know, I was playing as Africa or something like that, right? I'll tell you what, you want to see the Russians upset? You, you drop a nuke on Moscow, funnily enough. And they just nuked like 20 of my cities in retaliation. So it is that sort of game. I can see that it could make for a really interesting multiplayer setting. I tried, I had a couple of codes and some other people set up to play it pre-release. But unfortunately, I couldn't actually get the, uh, the servers to behave. So I was trying really hard to play this multiplayer. Um, but this seems like a really, you know, good way to lose friends sort of simulator. Um, but even at the very least, I was just really enjoying the, the pace. Like, I don't like turtling in RTS games because it can undermine the game. And we're not going to even get into that. Um, that's, and that's why, like, things like Company Heroes were so popular because you just can't turtle. If you don't go out and capture the points, you would lose. But if you're going to have turtling as part of the core concept, like, it's not like we can shift territory in this. So you're supposed to build small and shore up all your defenses. And then when someone finally throws the first fucking stone, it will put your defenses to the test. And um, I can't help but uh, appreciate a game that does that sort of back to forward. It's everyone's hiding inside their turtle shell and and potentially have like kiloton nukes to just mess each other up. So yeah, ICBM, very cool. Um, not my sort of game usually, to be honest, but, um, I, I particularly enjoyed making this video just now and just moving at my own little bloody slow pace. Um, you know, and the sort of, all right, well, they sunk one sub, so I'll build two and you're sort of trying to counterbalance and it's very reactionary, which is how I play a lot of games anyway, you know, wait for the problem to, re uh, sort of come about and then deal with the problem. So anyway, yeah, that's sort of my little debrief, what I think about it. Let me know what you guys reckon if you didn't know about this game and I've put it on your radar. Uh, let me know if you want to see more on the channel. Otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being and I will catch you guys on the next one.